Let's model and set this scene up in under 3 minutes. Alright guys, how's it going? Let's not dick about, let's just quickly get into it, let's press shift and 8 and we'll drop down a meta ball. I'll go to the meta ball settings and I'll change the resolution to 0 0.1 and all I'm going to do here is press shift and D, S to scale and I'll just vary it between keystrokes. It's always good to kind of rotate the viewport so we get a little bit of variation. Let's do something like this. Let's scale this up a little bit. Looking good now, clouds come in all different shapes and sizes, just like people. <laughs> Bob Ross, eat your heart out. So let's do something like this. Okay, once you're happy with your cloud, what to do is select all of the metaball objects in the outliner, go to object, go to convert and convert it to a mesh. Now obviously the next step is to add in a modifier and we'll add in a remesh modifier. And we'll make it blocks to give it that nice voxel look. Now the tree depth, a little bit low, let's make it 7. And let's probably put the scale down to maybe 0 0.8. Oh, 0 0.7, why not? That's fine for me. Now I quite like that cloud. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly position my camera. I'll press Control Alt and 0. That looks good. Let's move it back a bit. Something like that. Not bad. Let's move the cloud down a bit. Move it to the left. And what I'll do here is I'll just quickly duplicate this other cloud away into the background. And I'll just quickly and randomly rotate it, something like that. I'll duplicate another one. Let's move it. Let's randomly rotate it. Let's quickly jump back into the camera view. Looks cool. Let's move this one here. Let's move it down. Not bad. I'll then go to the render engine. I'll change from EV to Cycles just to give it a little bit of niceness. Let's go to Denoising. Let's add in a denoiser. We'll go for Ohm Image. Next thing I'll do is I'll select the camera, I'll select the camera down here and I'll add in depth of field just to make it look all fancy. I'll use the dropper tool to select this cloud and I'll put the f-stop pretty low to be honest. So maybe something like 0 0.4, let's ch take a look in the viewport. Now we need to set the world settings so I'll change from an HDRI to an RGB, let's make it a nice blue, something like this. I'll then select the default light and I'll change this to a sun and I'll put the intensity down, I'll make it 500 and it's probably good just to kind of mess about with the angle maybe. Let's see what we can get. Not bad, not bad. Once I'm happy with that one, I'll select the object and I need to add a material. Let's quickly add in a material, let's drop it into the greys just a little bit. Probably better doing this with nodes to be honest. Let's put the specular down and let's put the roughness up and let's hit F12 and see what we get. And that's how you quickly set up voxel clouds. Do me a favour, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.